If you follow me for any length of time, you know that backups are probably one of the most important things I talk about in Home Assistant because you need to have a backup in case something goes wrong, and it will. Well, in the 2025.1 version of Home Assistant, some much needed improvements were made to the native backups in Home Assistant itself. So today we're gonna to talk about those. So let's get started. This is a super simple setup and you know, it may be not worth the video, but I thought I would cover it anyway, because as I said, I think backups are super important. So let's just talk a bit about this right here and what they talk about with backups. You can read all about this on their homeassistant.io blog. It, it talks about stuff here that I think is important. Um, backups are a critical part of this digital housekeeping or this maintenance. They're often overlooked, especially by new users until it's too late and then you don't have a have an option to go back to where you were. You spend a lot of hours putting your home assistant uh, together, getting things tweaked, getting all your automation set up. And some of these things rely are, are pretty important, like your alarm system, potentially things that maybe um, take care of pets or house plants, uh, automatic watering, all that kind of stuff. So you want to make sure you have something that can work and then you want to make sure you can restore it if something were to go wrong with it. So uh, let's just talk about how this actually works. It's super simple. Um, this is what you'll see on the new uh, backups dialog once you're updated to 2025.1. All you do is you start by clicking on setup backups here. And you're gonna get this en encryption key right here. You wanna make sure you copy this and save it somewhere safe, such, a pa such as a password manager or something like that. This is how you're gonna get back into your backups if you need them. And we'll talk about encryption here in just a couple of minutes. Uh, you can also download an emergency kit here that includes the encryption key. But anyway, make sure you copy the encryption key down. You'll need that. Next is a couple of different options here. You have an option of setting up the recommended settings or going into custom settings. I would just say from a, an ease of use standpoint, go straight to the recommended settings and just click on that. And when you get there, you're gonna see that it's already creating a backup for you. And depending on the size of your Home Assistant instance, and this one here happens to be one of my test instances, so there's not a lot here. Uh, the backup was very quick and it's already stored. Now, we'll talk about some of these settings here in just a moment, but let's talk about the screen. Uh, you have one automatic backup and one manual backup on this particular device. If I look at my production instance of Home Assistant, I have one automatic backup and 36 manual backups. Now, the reason I have 36 manual backups is that I have a tool called Auto Backup. I've been using this Auto Backup here for a while now, and the one advantage to Auto Backup, or well, there's multiple advantages to using something like this add-on versus um, something like the Home Assistant Backup, is you have generational backup schemes. That means that you can backup, um, and I did a whole video on this. If you want to watch that video, I'll, it talks all about this, but basically it means you can have um, one backup per day for a week and then one backup per um, week for a month and then one backup per month for a year. So it's generational. You can go way back to a year earlier. Is that necessary in all cases? Maybe, maybe not, but it's up to you. And I think auto backup is a very good tool um, that is available if you want to do something a little more complex than what we're talking about today. The idea of the Home Assistant backup here is to get you started, get you started quickly with as little um, configuration as possible. So uh, from this point, let's just talk about my, uh, my Home Assistant production backup. So one automatic backup, and if you want to click on these, you'll see what you have here. You have one automatic backup here, and then like I said, 36 manual backups. And these, uh, these manual backups also include things like um, when you do an upgrade in Home Assistant and it asks you if you want to make a backup before you do an upgrade, uh, you can do that and it stores those here as well. So I have all of these backups um, from all the way back to four months ago when I started using the auto backup. All right, so let's get into some of the backup settings here. Straight out of the box uh, on this test system, when I just clicked on what you saw a minute ago, you'll see that uh, the recommended settings are daily at 4.45 a.m. and keeping the latest three backups um, you can see all the settings in history, all the add-ons are backed up and it keeps a local backup copy. So if I click on any of these here, it's going to take me to the backup settings, or you can do the same thing by clicking down here. And this is where you get to choose everything. 
Uh, do you even want to use automatic backups? And you'll see on my production, it's turned off currently because I'm still using auto backup. But over here, it's enabled. Uh, it's daily at 445. And if you click on this, you'll have an option for either daily or you can pick the day of week and have it only do it one day out of the week. Uh, if you make a lot of changes, stick with daily. If you change it once every so often, you can go with maybe once a week for a backup. There is a way to force a backup. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then how many backups to keep? You have three backups, all backups or custom. If you choose custom, you're going to have the option for uh, choosing either the number of backups or the number of days of backups. And by default, it's set to three. Three is probably a good number. Uh, I don't see any reason why I would choose more than three unless I'm doing the generational type backup and I want to go back and look at history. Home assistant settings. This is all the data you're going to uh, back up. You have to back up the home assistant settings. That is a requirement. It's the bare minimum to restore the system. Without that, it it's pointless to have the backup. And then your historical data, if you want to back up your historical data, including things like your energy dashboard, you need to select this. If you don't care about the history and you just want a running system and you're not into all the data uh, like I am, then you don't need to back that up. The media folder uh, is something I don't include in my backups. I don't store anything in the media folder that I can, uh, that I can't afford to lose, right? There's nothing there that if it went away, it wouldn't be a big deal. The reason I don't do this is the home assistant backups. If you're using the Nabu Casa cloud for your backups as a backup location, you are limited to five gigabytes. If you have media files in there that could easily exceed the five gig limit, and then your backups aren't going to work properly. So I don't include the media folder here for that at all. And then the share folder. Now I will include that because there are add-ons that have configurations in there. And if I make a, an update or a change to a default configuration on an add-on, I want to make sure that I have the most recent configuration stored in the backup. So I will typically choose that. And then you can choose the add-ons here. Uh, you can do all of them, none of them, or you can do custom. If you do custom, then you get a choice of which ones that you want to back up. All right, so then we get to the locations piece here. Your backup's going to be stored wherever you choose. Now, this particular backup or this particular test system I'm running on only has the option for storing uh, locally. If you look at my settings for my production, I have multiple options for that. I have this system, which is stored locally on the Home Assistant device. I have a network location that I've mapped in networking. And then I have the Home Assistant Cloud because I'm a subscriber to Home Assistant Cloud. I can store a backup here. Now let's talk about that for a second. In the Home Assistant Cloud, what it does is it backs up the most recent copy or the most recent backups. So you get one backup in the Home Assistant Cloud and that's it. You can store multiple backups on your other backup location, but you only get the latest one on the Home Assistant Cloud and that is the, uh, the option of last resort. If your system is completely down, if you're only doing local storage and you have Home Assistant Cloud, you can always back up from the Home Assistant or restore from the Home Assistant Cloud. If you have other options like um, Synology NAS or something on your network and you store a bunch of backups there, the Home Assistant Cloud, either one isn't necessary for you or two, if you lose your entire um, networking system, let's say you get a lightning strike and it blows up your Home Assistant device and it blows up your, your Synology or your whatever NAS you're using, your network storage. If both of those are gone, your home assistant cloud is still the cloud of last resort. So it follows like this uh, three, two, one backup strategy, three copies of your data, two stored on different media. So I have one stored, oops, I have one stored here, one stored here. And then I have finally under the three, two, one, one kept off site. So three copies, one on the system, one on the network and one off site. So that follows the three, two, one strategy. So even if you don't feel like you need to have um, the Home Assistant Cloud for a backup, it follows best practices and you would do that anyway. All right, so I have those three backup locations and let me just show you real quick. When I say network storage, in order to use the network storage here, you actually have to go to, uh, to the network and, or actually to storage. And I'm using a shortcut key here. Now we get to storage. 
and you can add network storage here. You would go in here and you would choose backup as the usage. You would put the location of the backup storage and whether you're doing NFS or, or uh, Samba or CIFS, you choose that. And then when you do that and you go back over to backups and you look at the configuration, you'll see that you have an option here that shows up. As long as you choose it as a uh, backup for the usage, you'll have the option. That's what I've done here. So you have a place to put your backups for your um, on your network storage device. So 321 uh, method here is what I'm using for my backups on Home Assistant. So if you wanna see where your backups actually are stored for each of the backups, you can go back over to your backups here, show all your backups, and you can see that you have your backup locations here. This is uh, local. This is Synology. And by the way, the name Synology is what you give your name when you set up that uh, networking storage location. And then this is the Home Assistant Cloud. So you can easily see where your backups are as you look through these backup sets. And then if you want to restore it, you just come over here to your Nabu Casa account page and your stored files are right here. You can download them directly from here uh, or you can even delete it if you wanted to. So. Super easy to use. Again, the point of this is to make it easy to use these settings in uh, Home Assistant and be able to um, be able to easily back up your stuff. So now we're to the point of the encryption key. So here's the section for the encryption key. Again, you can download the emergency kit here. You can show your encryption key by clicking this button here and you can change your encryption key. Now, if you change your encryption key, any backups going forward will use the new encryption key. However, any backups you already made will use the old encryption key. So if you plan on ever using the old backups and you change the key, you need to make sure that you keep uh, the old key as well as the new key, or you're not going to be able to get your backups from uh, the, before the, the key was changed. There's a lot of talk about the encryption key or the encryption in general. Encryption is necessary because there are things in your backups that are potentially harmful if they get out. You've got configuration items. You've got the history of what your house is doing. One of the big things we talk about um, with Home Assistant, or I talk about, is the privacy aspect of Home Assistant. A lot of these big companies that are running other platforms, they will potentially mine your data. They will look at your house, what you do in your house, the history of what's going on, and use it for all kinds of purposes, marketing, or whatever. With Home Assistant, Home Assistant, it's privacy-based. So if they don't encrypt it and that information gets out, well, somebody else can use that uh, for whatever purposes they want. I think it's a, a good balance between keeping your data safe at the ease of use, right? You don't have to do anything. It's automatically encrypted for you. Now, there are, are comments about the ability to turn off encryption, and I understand that. Uh, there may be instances where you want to be able to get into a single file within your backup and do something with it. That's not what the intention is here. The intention with the auto or the backups with Home Assistant is to make it easy, secure. And if you're a power user and you want to go a different route, there are plenty of other uh, backup options for you. The auto backup I mentioned before. Uh, again, this stuff is backward compatible. They didn't break your current backups. You should be able to use what you're using now if you're already having if you already have a backup uh, process. But this is for ease of use. It gives you the ability to do some, some long-term maintenance in terms of how many copies you keep, something that wasn't available before. It allows you to back up directly to the Home Assistant Cloud for an, an easy off-site backup. The other thing I want to talk about here is the time of the backups. So let me find it over here. Let's go back to my test site. So right now, backups are running at 4.45 a.m. I don't see any way to change the time on that. Um, what they mention in the documentation is that 4.45 a.m. is late enough in the day that it gives uh, Home Assistant a time to do its database optimization. And so when a backup runs, it's actually using a small, the smallest possible data set to backup because it's gone through and cleaned up the database, et cetera. It does pose problems for people who have automations that have to run at a certain time uh, for example, if you back up to a network device that goes to sleep at nighttime uh, or overnight or whatever, and you try to run a backup at 445 and the device is offline, well, then it's not going to work. So I'm I'm hoping that at some point we have the ability to uh, change the time the backups run. And then even at some point have the ability to disable encryption if you want that. 
those are two options that power users might want to have. Oh, one other thing I didn't talk about. If you want to, if you want to do a quick backup, uh, backup now, there is a button over here. You just click on backup now and you have two options here. You can do the automatic backup or manual. If you do the automatic backup, the automatic backup will use all of the settings you already have set for your automatic backups. So you can choose either method. If I do a backup now and I click on automatic backup, it's just going to start running the backup. All right, that's going to be it for backups. Just wanted to cover that. It is a cool new feature in 2025.1. Let me know if you have any comments down below, any questions. Uh, you can also hit me up on Discord. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, do the thing. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.